Hey, Ricky, you said you had a job for me? Hey, Deke. Yeah. You remember Shane Riley? Everyone called him Red. Red Riley. Yeah, never heard of him, but let me guess. Ginger? What? Red hair? No. It was his boots. He wore these rattlesnake boots dyed with god-awful red color. He made quite the impression. <laughs> no, I bet. Anyway, he used to do runs for us back in the day until one day he decides he didn't like the camp credits we were paying. So he up and kills Lindsay Fuller. Who? Lindsay. Worked supply before Blair. Wait a second, so he killed an unarmed woman? Oh, she was armed. She just wasn't expecting him to shoot her in the face. Will you listen? So Red murders her, cleans out her supply hut, and then takes off before anyone knows what's happened. Got away clean. Oh, that son of a bitch. Until now. He and his men have been spotted up at Camp Pioneer. You don't gotta ask. I, uh, I got this thing about him. About killing unarmed women. I know. So I knew you'd want to handle it. Yeah, like I said, I got this covered. Um, what else can you tell me about him? Not much. Oh, wait. He chews tobacco. I heard he was such an addict that he rounds up cigarette butts, takes out the tobacco, and chews that. Well, that's disgusting. So now I got two reasons to kill him. Yeah, but be careful, Deke. Back. We were riding west along the old Deke and St. John, the Lost Lake Infirmary. Come back. Deke! Hey. Uh, yeah. I'm feeling a lot of it, you know. You okay? What's going on? Boozer. Hey. Uh, nothing. I, uh... I'm tired of listening to the Radio Free Oregon. You can only take so much of his truth or bullshit, you know? Deke, uh... Hey, Ricky, I'm at Camp Pioneer, and it is a goddamn war zone. What's going on? Are any of our guys there? Uh, no, I don't think so. Sounds like they're clearing freaks. Uh, don't worry. I'll find this guy. Deacon out. <laughs> Where the hell are you? Newts. Oh, wow, well, they're killing newts. More bounties. Okay, what's this? Okay, yes, yes, cigarette butts, yes. Boot prints. Damn it, freaks! Uh, these look like uh, the kind of prints that some fans What's that? <laughs> Men coming! Yeah! yeah.
last tobacco spit. Red Fire League, you are one gross motherfucker. Hey! More boot prints. Yeah, this way. Damn it! Hiding here, they see me. Where the fuck are you hiding? He's gotta be here somewhere.
is neat scrap. Patty, you there? Deke and St. John to Lost Lake Infirmary. Come back. Deke! Hey. Uh, feeling a little out of it, you know. You okay? What's going on? Boozer. Hey. Uh, nothing. I, uh... I'm tired of listening to the radio free Oregon. It only takes so much of this truth or bullshit, you know? Deke, uh... A Addy told me how I'd be dead if it weren't for you. And I, whatever the fuck's. Boozer, I, uh. It must have been fun. Pulled me down while she fucking wiped away at me. Remember how, uh. Jack carved up that turkey last time we was all together? I <laughs> kept slipping all over the goddamn table. Yeah, Boozer, man. I remember. I still feel it. If you hadn't been there to put me down, I would have had everything. Well, it's done, Boozer. It's done. It's over. Ah. Sorry, I feel a little woozy. Yeah, but, uh, hey, Addie's gonna kill me if she finds out you're out of bed fucking around. Yeah, I've. I hear a bunk, uh. Yeah, listen, Boozer. Uh, what was I doing? Bo I don't know what oh, got <laughs> Hey, hey, Ricky. I got him. Deacon, what a relief. Lindsay has some folks she was close to. I'll let him know. Yeah, okay. I'll see you around, Ricky. Hey, man. Hey, how's life? Need some gas, Deke? Uh, looks like you could use it. I got you covered. Sure. All right. Later, Deke. I've been uh, thinking about what you were saying about doing something to make a difference around here, pay back the camp. I'm listening. Do you got a few minutes? I want to show you something. Yeah, guess I can spare you a minute or two. So where are we heading? You ever been out to the caves north of the lake? I know. Come on, see if you can keep up. Okay, let's go. I got marsh duty anyway this morning. Gotta see if any freaks are stuck in the muck out that way. When's the last time you went up there? In a few years, I guess. When I was a boy, we used to live in that damn cave. The old man sort of fancied himself a geologist. Sounds like we got a couple. Freak stuck in the mud, I mean. Yeah, it sounds like. Here, let me take care of it. All right. I guess I can let you do that. Nice work. Hey, Schizo's just found a new man for the job. You know what Schizo can go do. Anyway, as I was saying, we spent hours talking about how all these caves were formed when 
Lava flows would harden on the outside, but the molten cores would still flow like buried rivers. You got the big caves that drew in the tourists, like Metolius up there. There's way more than that. Riddled all over these parts. Okay, okay, we're coming up on the highway. We gotta be quiet. You brought me out of here? I smell a bunch of goddamn freaks? Yeah. Okay, okay. Come on, follow him. Wait, wait, wait. Follow him? Where the hell are we going? You'll see. Come on. Now don't get too close. Stay down. Doesn't seem all that smart, even for a goddamn drifter. Hold up, hold up. You remember telling me about how the tourists used to flood up from California in the summer, choke off Highway 97 and the I-5 freeway? Yeah, in July, folks smelled almost as bad as these here freaks. Well, you weren't wrong about one thing. These freaks, the big groups, the ones that some call hordes, I think they're the reason we can't get their numbers down. What do you mean? Think about it, man. I've been out here in the shit collecting bounties for more than a year. Boozer, too. Ricky, Schizo, a few others. How many freaks you think I killed? A few. A few. Yeah, but their numbers never go down. You got a point? It's these whores. Every night, there's a steady stream of them up and down the Sandium Highway. Thousands of freaks pouring into the Lost Lake Valley, north of the Cascades. And you think they're coming up from California? I always closed off. No one's been south of the Sentium Pass in years. It's not closed off to the hordes. Freaks are the reason it's closed off. Anyway, the point I'm trying to make is that the hordes come in every night. Not a goddamn thing we can do to stop them. Well, you got that much right. Lost more than a few men trying to back in the day. Yeah, I know. I was there. And every horde that comes through leaves a few stragglers or gets busted up and scatters and, and just like that, freaks everywhere as far as the eye can see. You don't need to see them to know that they're around. We figure out a way to stop the hordes coming through, maybe we can make some headway, reduce their numbers. Make it safer. Free up more farmland, irrigation. Yeah. Okay, so how do we do that? You know goddamn well you can't take on a, a, a whatever you call it, a, a horde? This is how. I'll be goddamn. Yeah. They stay in there all day, hibernating or whatever the hell freaks do. So what are you thinking that we... Yep. We blow it the hell up. Stick it down to my there, there, and there. We'll bring down a mountain of rock. We seal this shit up. Yeah, so we trap a few hundred inside. What good is that gonna no, do? No, no, you don't get it. We seal this cave. Maybe they don't got no place to sleep. Or maybe this trail of piss and shit dries out, goes stale, and other stuff. Get my attention. Okay, come on, let's head back. All right, my knees are warmed up a bit. Let's see if you can keep up. Yeah, okay. Tell me, when does being out in the shit make you an expert on freaks? You spend your spare time just following them around, seeing what makes them tick? Not exactly. And how do you know about all this? About what a horde's gonna do, where they sleep? A few days ago, I was riding north of Belknap Crater when a chopper flew by. A chopper? What the hell? Just listen to me. It was a black chopper. One of those Nero choppers that used to fly all over the goddamn place when the shit was going down. 
And you saw one, still flying. I followed them. I stole one of their radios. I've been trying to track them down, see if they have a base around here. Supplies. Shit, I mean, see if the feds are still alive, you know what I'm saying? They're out here doing field work of some kind on the freaks. They're studying them. They got resources to do that while we're out here starving, fighting to stay. I followed them up to the grotto caves. You know the ones? Yeah. They had motion sensors set up, measuring how many freaks used the cave during the day. And, uh, Mike, it was thousands. That right. They said freaks all up and down the Cascade Range, south of Crater Lake and north up to Smith Rock, all use these lava tube caves to hibernate. So, we blow up those caves, maybe we have a few less to deal with. Hey, this idea of yours, it's got some merit, but job like that, it's gonna take a fair amount of TNT. He said you wanted help making Lost Lake safer. This is how we do it. All right. All right, look. There's some things I gotta do, okay? But you meet me at the bridge in a couple of minutes. I know where we can find some. Hey, John. You were supposed to be up at the farm an hour ago. My guy said he's got a shovel waiting for you. Yeah, Schizo, about that, I'm busy. See, Iron Mike and I, we're just heading out on a run. You and Iron Mike, you'll get your ass up that way today. Or you and your gimp boyfriend are gonna find yourselves out in the shit. You hear me? Without a goddamn battle. Yeah, yeah, I'll get right on that. St. John out. Uh, what was I doing when the world got sick? <laughs> what are you doing? Nope. Move it. Hey. How's it going? Nice. Good haul. That's it. Okay. Where are we going? You know what they used to mine all around these parts? Yeah, uh, mercury or something. That's right, cinnabar. They extracted mercury from cinnabar. Folks back east think it was gold mines out here and silver. Not so. Back in the early 1900s, cinnabar was worth more than gold. To operate the mine, you need TNT for expansion, blowing out new tunnels, clearing cave-ins, that sort of shit. And to own TNT, you had to register with the county. Keep copies of the keys to all your lockboxes with the commissioner. Wait, the county courthouse? Where the hell is that? Thought you knew. It's in the old federal building. The old federal building? The one in Sherman's camp? Jesus, Mike. What the hell? You told me... You, you told me that you were never setting foot in that place again. Did I? I don't recall. You were drunk right after... Joe was killed. Did I tell you why? No. Here. Turn right here. This is it. Mike. The place is going to be crawling. I don't, I don't think this is a good idea. Uh, weather holds will be safe enough. All right, that there, it's the old federal building. That's where we're headed. 
Let's not go looking for trouble. Stay out of the buildings. Come on. We gotta head over this way. Where are we headed? Just follow me. Key will be on the commissioner. And and you know where he is? You, where his body is? Yeah, I think I do. You heard what happened here. Yeah. Everybody got wiped out, man, woman, and child. Only a few got out, and and uh, you you were one of them, right? Only two got out. Me and Nora. But it wasn't the freaks that took us out. What do you mean? Here. Says called a truce. A meeting. Right here. Oh, we knew what was coming. We knew what was coming and we were prepared. Fight didn't last long. But it was bad. They had ammunition left after all, and how well, they. Oh, hell, you can see what they did. Like I said, two people walked out of this town after all was said and done. And some days. the hell one of them wasn't me. Commissioner's over there in the bean counter suit. Go get the key so we can get the hell out of here. You didn't give a damn about sealing the caves. You brought me here be... Because you, you brought me here because you wanted me to see this. Not true. All right, you got the key. We're going to go get the maps to those mines, just like I said, and we're going to get more than enough TNT to seal every cave in the valley. Bullshit. You are right about one thing. I'm not sorry you've seen it. Not following you, Mike. I am talking about the war that's coming with the Rippers, the one that Schizo so hot for. He, he cares how many die on either side. Never mind. Come on, let's get this done. Here's the door. Place is locked up tight. Work. Come on, I gotta find a way upstairs. Smells like something died in here. Newts. Yeah, I smell them. Bad business. Never much light, kids. They always tended to get on my nerves. There's always a sore spot between me and my Elizabeth. God rest her soul. Okay. All right, this is it. Now we got maps to every mine in the county showing where they stored their dynamite. Okay, come on. Hear that? Yeah. Were well, you expecting anyone? Nope. Do you have my back here? Hey, I don't like starting trouble, but I'll finish it if I have to. take care of myself. I'm not saying you can't, but remember the last time that we were out in the shit. Yeah, like I said, I'm staying behind you. That's all of them. Let's go. 
right behind you. Stay down. I got you. Freaks. We're bringing the whole goddamn town down. I got this. It's over. Jesus, what a mess. Now you know why no one goes into Sherman's camp. Eddie finds out you're out here risking your ass like this, she's gonna be pissed. Now how would she find out about something like that? Not from me. the rippers why you wanted me to see that shit you know Nick? i always saw a bit of myself in back in the day how's that you don't give a shit oh you care about your friend don't want to see him die but me any other goddamn person on the planet i don't think so caring will just get you killed yeah that's right the thing is not caring will get you killed just as easy Folks of Sherman Camp did was stop caring about anyone but themselves and their own. Easy to kill a man when he's just some piece of meat standing between you and what you need. Schizo wants to kill Rippers because he don't think they're human anymore. They don't count. They're standing in the way of what he wants. Well, I don't buy into that shit. I won't have it. You know, Schizo, he, uh, he wonders why I'm a pacifist. That's, you know, that's what he likes to call me. He, uh, he thinks I'm gonna get everybody killed. Well, are you, Mike, are you gonna get everyone killed? Freaks aren't gonna be around forever. 
Now when they're gone, we're gonna need some folks around here to help pick up the pieces. Hey, look, hey, hey. I don't like Carlos and his rippers any more than I like Tucker or, or Copeland and his, his, his goddamn truthers. All right, but here, look. Here's the thing, Deke. I'm not going out of my way to kill any of them. I've had my share of killing. Even if Carlos comes for you, my truce will hold. You can bet on that. Ricky, what's going on? That guy we've been looking for, Eric Lynch, who, who murdered Camel and Reed at the farm. Lynch, man. Son of a bitch. You know where he is? Yes, uh, yeah. He's on the north shore at the old boat launch. Skizzle wanted to go after him, but Iron Mike said to get you. I'll get to him. Thanks, Deke. Hurry. Brian, I'm at one of your beacons, the one outside of Rogue Camp. Drifter, uh, uh, St. John, I mean, uh, copy that. Why am I here? I show, uh, Hilo incoming to that location now. Be ready. O'Brien out. Uh, psh. That's why I'm here. St. John, they should have arrived at your location. Do you see them? Yeah, yeah, kind of hard to miss. What do you need me to do? Get close to the researcher. Remember, you have to stay in their proximity or I can't intercept their data. I need the area okay, secured yeah, now. Okay, yeah, I get it. Let me know when it's clear. This time, I need you to plant one of those trackers on their helo. Their chopper. I know what a helo is, O'Brien. Okay, I gotta place a tracker on that chopper. All good. All good. Oh, guys, just... See me. So what the hell are you boys doing here, huh? Figured you'd get stop and fill up at the old Peltro gas station. That's a gas you didn't see. The sign says gas low. But got it. Well, Brian, the tracker's set. You should be here. We have now 2060. We have now completed the survey of 24 nesting sites. No, 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 Pioneer Cemetery, no, no, here, Cascade no. Highway Lumber Site, the truck stop on the old Belknap Road. What was that called again? Ah, oh, Crazy Willies. Yes, very rustic and touristy. Some things about the old world I don't miss. A Crazy Willies, south of the Belknap Crater. I got a question, Doc. Sure, it's not like I'm busy or anything. The nests. Why do they build them? We don't know. Structures, cabbies, or out in the wilderness, only houses. Are you finished? I'm sorry. The guys back at the lab have a theory. I'm sure when they're ready to talk about it, they'll come rushing down to the barracks to let you know. Jesus. Just ask him. I see things too, you know. It wasn't always a grunt. Can I continue? Sure. South of Belknap Crater. Some areas of the Belknap Wilderness were not surveyed due to the proximity of nesting sites to human encampments. In particular, a large camp at... Salome Hot Springs. Oh, yes. Salome. On Herod's birthday, she danced before them, whereupon he promised with an oath to give her whatsoever she would ask. She said, give me the head of John the Baptist, and the king was struck sad. Quite the name for a resort.
O'Brien. O'Brien, are you there? <laughs> 